The frog blinks slowly, considering you with shrewd and beady eyes. After a pointed pause, he opens his mouth, flicking his tongue out to catch an unfortunate fly right from the tip of your boot. Another blow-in. And this used to be such a nice neighbourhood. Let me tell you, it was once majestic here. But recently, some bad elements have been appearing. Kids rampaging in the pool, splashing about, doing loose your nose what underwater, and scaring all the flies away. Lethal plants? I tell you, I've had quite enough. Quite. <laughs> with that, the frog turns his back to you with disdain. As you near the garden, the rustling of leaves and branches turns to an insidious murmur. The closer you listen, the clearer the whispers become. Source in the air. He must be near. Kim. The doctor sends his regards. some explaining to do.
Prepare yourself.
Titans of the Ring are destroyed. He will not allow the king to rule unchallenged. He will not allow the king to rule unchallenged. Doctor sees no one. interest you in some articles of particular value. I've walked this earth, each vale and peak, from forests fair to cities peak. And in each place I've come to find my surest friend is my own mind. From my home in Alaroth, I packed my life up in a glove. I set my course off. Here, elf features. And here I Got am. anything interesting to sell? I got gold. Sees no one. The bloom opens before your eyes, resplendent and regal. It emits a sweet, subtle scent, like that of a rose, though more intoxicating. The bloom scent ribbons towards you until it fills your nostrils. Your whole body flushes. You're sure you must be glowing, so deep does the warmth dwell. Sorrow. 
Our joy shall be the God-woken sorrow. Our joy sh 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 sorrow. The unusual bloom continues unabated, as if parroting someone's words rather than speaking of its own accord. The advocate is dead. The doctor is in. The advocate. Advocate. Ad. Ad. The prince. Take him. The prince. Take. Take. The prince. The flower has gone quiet. Friends of the ring are destroyed. The flower's sweet fragrance. F What an unusually large yarrow. Blood rose bush. When not in flower, it barely stinks at all. The water rises and falls on Lord Ken's command. The flower is withered. You bend to smell the bloom, but it has no discernible scent. The moment you finger the silky flower, icy darkness pierces your heart. The chill freezes your bones, then rushes free, leaving a single word etched within you. God woken. The flower's beauty is betrayed by your memories of it.
the ring. The flower's beauty is betrayed by your... An inscription at the terrarium's base identifies its contents as a wailing mandrake, a species you've not... Not every detail is visible. Holy mo... Gods, make it stop! I won't do much sneaking with this in my pocket! Mother of divine, that's loud. I won't do much sneaking with this in my pocket. Holy mother of divine, that's loud. Well, I won't do much sneaking with this in my pocket. Holy mother of divine, that's loud. Uh, I won't do much sneaking with this in my pocket. Holy mother of divine, that's loud. I won't do much sneaking with this in my pocket. Holy mother of divine, that's loud. Sorry about I won't do much sneaking with this in my pocket. be joining us, my lady. Linda, I fear, is far too busy with his little coup. Perhaps he may find some time for us later. I hope everything is to your Unless utmost you satisfaction, my lady. Morty. Well, isn't this convivial? Having the time of my life, truly. The weather has been frightful. Linda, I fear, is far too A delicious with... blend. I envy the lady's brewing skills. Come out, come out, wherever I you do are. hope the chems might reopen the school. Children should not suffer from our misdeeds. Do pass the tea. Oh, Having the a time of fellow mind. noble. Truly. Such a dignified carriage could belong to no other. It's a delight to greet someone of my own station. Not that I would judge these present plebeians. They are here by invitation, of course. People like them keep the city's wheels turning and its boats afloat. Magicians among us, truly. An afternoon of hot tea and warm recitations is the least I can offer them.
Yes, indeed. Why, a lady without a property set is no more useful than a party without a hostess. As long as you choose the most delicate leaves and brew at the proper temperature, you're destined for luxury. Would you care to try your hand at it? I have three varieties, each as aromatic as the last. I've no doubt you could brew a delicious cup. Yes, a classic green from the ancient kingdom Zia Valley. I'm sure you know the place. The plant's last week is spent in shade, which gives the leaves a sumptuous nutty flavor. Certainly. Oh, I love this white tea. It's so sweet. The buds are plucked when they're so young they barely felt the wind. Certainly. So interesting. Is it is pure and experience. black, grown in the eroded highlands, yet you'd swear it had been mixed with ginger and honey. Certainly. Yes, a classic green. Oh, I approve. Here you are. And may you enjoy every cup you brew. Oh, but you seem to be a bit feverish. Violent plants, that's simply impossible. Those seeds were a gift from the doctor himself. As exotic as these symptoms you've presented with, I dare say. Perhaps you should see him, dear. Something is clearly ailing you. Every citizen of Arx gets at least one invitation to tea every year. We all deserve a taste of luxury from time to time, do we not? I may live in a resplendent mansion, but I still share my riches one lucky guest at a time. A pity my husband couldn't make it. He has his hands full, you see. Why, I barely ever see him myself. Lady Kem's bright cheeks fall and her jaw goes slack. She is lost in thought for but a moment, however, and puts on a brave and regal face. But I think you'll find present company more than adequate. Tea time is such a delight. My husband? What is it? What happened? I thought you said you had bad news. Stop toying with me. Well, I cannot just go giving everything away. Is there more to discuss? Well, do make the most of your visit, and be sure to stroll through the gardens. I have quite a green thumb, you know. I planted every bulb and scattered every seed myself. But please, tell me about yourselves. Um, well, ma'am, we were hoping you'd see fit to reopen the school. I saw Daddy with some weird-looking cat in the garden. I think he was even talking to it. He called it Archu, I think. Anyway, I asked if I could pet it, but Daddy shooed me away. I want no trouble from you, Lizard. This job is dull, and I'd like to keep it that way. My esteemed Lord, the Red Prince, you should speak to Lady Vicra, Your Highness. She has been eagerly anticipating your arrival.
My. Unless I have gone quite colorblind, you must be the Red Prince. The Lizard Consulate is gone, I'm afraid. All that survives of it is what I managed to take with me. Care to see what I have? Perhaps we can make an arrangement. Best to sell anything of value. The voice of the ancient empire must still be heard in arcs, and that will require gold. Our consulate may be gone, but I will not let us be reduced to utter beggars. I merely do what is necessary to fund our ongoing diplomatic efforts. It was quite terrible and wonderful, my prince. Slaughter. Death. Opportunity. We were gathered there in anticipation of Lucian's day when the Red Princess walked in, accompanied by no other than Brahmos the Wanderer. We knew not who she was. But Brahmus told us the tale of the Red Majesties, and how they would engender the return of the Great Red Dragons. No sooner had we fallen to our knees in reverence, than the ground shook, monsters howled for blood, and fires raged around us. Many a great noble perished in that sudden hell. As for myself, I'm glad I survived long enough to collect what treasures I could, as the Red Princess would surely have wished. Surely you might find something useful among them? Oh, it was devastating, to be sure. But what good does mourning do for either the living or the dead? I found a spot of fortune in the flames. It would be wrong to squander it, yes?
The Lizard Consulate is gone. All that survives of it is what I managed to take with me. Care to see what I have? Perhaps we can make an arrangement. My wares are quite unique, I should Best to sell anything of value. The voice of the ancient empire must still be heard in arcs, and that will require gold. When the noblewoman spots you, a mixture of awe and relief lights up her face. My word! The Red Prince! It really is you! I have a message for you, my lord, from Sadha herself. She managed to elude her Black Ring captors and make it to the safety of our consulate here in the city, only to be attacked by Voidwoken. The Dreamers promised to take her into the Sanctuary of Dreams, but before following them, she bid me seek shelter here, await your arrival, of which she was certain, and tell you that she, in turn, awaits you, together with your offspring. The Dreamers took her away, but I don't know how their magic works. You'll find the answer in the Consulate, my Prince, amid the fire and the chaos. Still, I know you'll brave any danger that stands in your way, for I've heard speak of the prophecy. You are the father of dragons, O oh Majesty, and the mother of dragons calls upon you in her hour of need. Lady Kem has been kind enough to host me until I can return to the kingdom. She is a gracious host, even in these trying times, and has taught me much about tea. Lady Kem has been kind enough to host me until I can return to the kingdom. She Lady Kem has been kind enough to...
I bit the master, Kim, I did. I, I could have sworn it was another man in a master suit, but it weren't. Now I'm in the doghouse, like the humans say. Oh, I couldn't help it. I swear, it came all smelled like when the garden man cuts down a decayed tree, like, like he was using flowers to hide the rots. <laughs> Only nudging and tail wag the next time, I promise. Uh, no licking, though. Uh, I don't want to taste the rot again. Keep your snout clean. Keep your snout clean. Spotted something. Goodbye, nice lady. Look out. I see a trap nearby. I've spotted a trap. Careful now, that's a trap. There's an air about this place. Something sinister just below the surface. Look out! I see a trap nearby. Yeah. 
careful now. That's a trap. Careful. I've spotted a trap. Lucky find. Rubbish. Why would Lord Ken have a black ring mirror in his attic? Good find. Someone has taken a great interest in Dallas. Kim write this, do you suppose, or did he just confiscate it from someone else? I'm more concerned about who the target's going to be. Careful. I see a trap nearby. The surface of the mirror is smooth and unblemished. Not a single speck of dust sits on the black glass. A vision appears. It wavers, then becomes clear. In the reddish light cast by flowing lava, you see a cave. You recognize it. This is the Sallow Man's cave. The roof has fallen in. Nothing there lives. That hatch won't open easily with the weight of all that water on top of it.
So this is where Kim hides his most ancient valuables. Spotted something. It's locked, but there's no keyhole or handle. There's got to be some way to open it, though. The spirit of a painting hovers where the painting itself once stood. The second passion of Lucian, you presume. It's difficult to see the image as it must appear in the real world. This, perhaps, is the moment where Lucian killed Damien and sacrificed himself for the world. The third passion of Lucian. Now this is art. Lucian's glorious return. This is what everyone's waiting for. The spirit of a painting hovers where... What's this? I found something. 